Hi guys, and good to see you again. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winner Bellevue Commons. I'm excited because we are in August right now, so it's end of summer, it's very hot weather. We have heat wave in Seattle, almost like 80, 90 degrees every single day, and people swimming right now, enjoying the weather. But today we're going to be talking about real estate market, what's happening in Seattle in the east side neighborhood, and I will use historical data from last month, from July, and we'll talk about only residential data in this episode. You guys can see with me on the screen, Freddie Mac data as of August 10, the mortgage rates, they showed like 6.96%. And I just read a very interesting article from August 15 in Mortgage News Daily. Uh, surprise, surprise, more long-term heights. Uh, this is like not a joke. The rates going up right now and rates actually increase higher than was in November 2022. And in a country, it's right now 7.34%. In all settled neighborhoods, we have 1.3 months supply of inventory with 793 active listings and 589 pending sales. And medium sale price in settled neighborhoods is $899,000 and decrease for 6% year to day. If you compare to last month, it's decreased only for 3%. This is a very interesting slide. It shows you guys a percentage of homes sold above, at, or below asking price. And in settled neighborhoods, uh, you guys can see with me on the screen, 37% homes sold above asking price and 18% sold at asking price. If you combine them together, it's about 56% homes sold at or above asking price. Very important to price correctly because you have more chances to sell this home very fairly quickly. And people who pay over asking price, they pay about 6% over asking price. And people who negotiate price, they negotiate about 2% below asking price. Speaking of listing for correct price, 69% homes sold in sale area less than 15 days on the market and 14% sold within 30 days on the market. This slide show you guys majority of homes selling fairly quickly in Seattle neighborhood. And now let's move to east side location. Uh, cities like Woodenville, Bellevue, Basel, Kilkern, Redmond, Sammamish, Issaqua, Mercer Island, Newcastle. Uh, if you combine them together, uh, what's happening on the east side market? East side market a little bit more expensive than Seattle areas. We have 1.3 month supply of inventory, very similar to Seattle right now. But we have less sales, we have 891 active listings and uh, 542 pending sales with medium sale price $1.5 million. And in Seattle's east side, medium sale price increased comparable to year ago. Year to date increased for 6%. I started this episode with confusing numbers, 6% decrease, 6% increase. Yes, in Seattle, 6% decrease comparable to year ago, but in east side, uh, medium sale price increased uh, last month. And if you look on the core of east side, Bellevue, uh, you guys can see with me in the slide. So I will divide the Bellevue to two different locations, uh, west from 405 and east from 405 freeway. It's basically east is East Bellevue and West Bellevue. And you guys can see with me on the screen for East Bellevue data shows we have 1.5 month supply of, of inventory. Price in Bellevue decreased for 2% year over year and medium sale price in East Bellevue right now, $1,475,000. And if you jump into West Bellevue, West from 405 Freeway, you guys can see with me on the screen, we have 3.2 months of supply of inventory, but price is much more expensive in West Bellevue and increase for 11% year over year. So in the best value, price is more expensive and prices increase a lot for 11% year over year. And when we back to all these site locations, all those cities, you guys can see with me on the screen, 36% homes in sales east side selling above asking price and 16% selling at asking price. Together is about 52% homes, more than half percent of homes selling at or above asking price. 
and that shows demand for residential market in sales east side. People who pay uh, above asking price, they pay approximately 5% above asking price. People who negotiate, uh, they negotiate about 3% below asking price. 68% homes in sales east side sell in less than 15 days on the market. They sell in fairly quickly. In sales east side, market missing people, uh, optional buyers who protect the 2.53% interest rate. In the results is lower new listings, 30% months to date, inventory 42% months to date, in transactions we have 6% lower months to date. We really need more homes for sale because simple formula supply and demand even with high interest rate still working and we have huge demand for housing market specifically below 1 million dollars and we don't have enough supply because those buyers protecting the mortgage interest rate and not willing to go to the market yet. Advice for the buyers. If you're looking to buy the property, look for the property is listed in the market for a long time and doesn't sell. Property is listed for 120 days or more on the market. And majority of buyers are just looking for new listings, new homes coming on the market, but uh, properties was many times reducing the price or something's wrong with these properties. They usually stay and you sometimes can a good deal. If you need help, reach out to me. I would be love to be your real estate resource with that. And if you seller looking to sell property get the top dollars it's a great time right now to sell because we have high demand we have low supply it's good for you for the sellers because right now it's a great time to sell the property and specifically in september when kids going to back to school and parents continue to shop for the houses i think market will be more hotter than right now and it will be great time to sell the property in september as always important to prepare your house for sale and do staging amazing photos videos uh, use great seasonal real estate broker like myself to sell your home and that's going to be help you to get you guys top dollars for today's market with that guys thank you so much for being with me thank you so much for watching this episode if you like it smash like button subscribe to my youtube channel until next time